Heidi, we've had an awesome question here as to how to create a automation or a customer repeating in the contact that they're receiving uh, in a certain frequency without you having to continuously build out the wait steps. So for instance, if you wanted to send an SMS every three days, for instance, you don't want to have to keep on pressing send an SMS, wait for three days, send an SMS, wait for three days. What you want to be able to do is simply create one wait step and then have that customer repeatedly go through that step until, for instance, some other action happens and they're removed from that workflow. I'm going to show you the quick way of doing that and it's how to use, it's using a go-to action. Action. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to go into our Techmatics account, click on Automated Workflows, and create a workflow. Quick start from scratch. Now, there could be lots of different reasons you might want to do this. Here's just one case scenario how I use this in my business. For instance, I do outreach to the, uh, I'm a speaker, and I do outreach to professional uh, speaker agencies to conferences that have booked me in the past and I just stay in touch with them every six months just to see if they've got any upcoming presentations or conferences that they might want me to speak at and I just on repeat will send them my speaker bio every single six months. So um, let's say you've got people that have come into this particular workflow for whatever reason, maybe they're a new customer, they've opted into something, they requested a quote, maybe they've booked a free demo call, I don't know, whatever it is, you want to follow up with them in a certain frequency. So for instance, it might be an SMS that you're sending out to this particular group of people. You're going to pop down your SMS inside here and press save. I'm going to cancel that. Maybe it's an email um, that you want to send out to them um, at a certain frequency. Um, so again, you're going to press add an email. You can either use the templates where if you've got um, a beautiful pre-made email, or of course you can send plain text-based emails from here. Now I would recommend using your templates because that allows you to add in the unsubscribe link. So uh, whatever it is that you're doing to contact them, in this instance, I'm just gonna put the SMS example because it's really, really quick. Hi, something like contact first name. Oh, full name, I don't want full name, I just want first name, because otherwise it's gonna say, hi, Sarah Cordina. <laughs> hi, contact first name. Then you're gonna put enter your text here, whatever it might be. Are you still interested in my XYZ? You know, here's my speaker bio again. Um, would you like to book, on, book a call with me? Whatever your thing is. Now, what you would normally do is press add a wait step. Um, for instance, you might wait for, let's say we want to message them every three days. I don't know, I'm just going to make up a frequency. And then you would um, send that same message again. Are you still interested in sending the X, Y, Z? Okay, now by the way, these three dots here, you can do copy, copy action, copy to here, and it literally copies that message. So what a lot of people are doing is if they want to send a message every three days, they're going to go wait, send the message, wait for three days, send the message, wait for three days, send the message, which is very lengthy if you're going to be repeating this permanently or for a very long time. So here's what you can do next. So you only have to create this step once. You're going to use what's called a go to action. So I'm going to press add and then type in go to and we're going to press save and it will say go to where and we're going to go to this step here. So what will happen is you've said you've got here wait for, let's just label this, wait for three days waits for three days and then sends the SMS. Are you still interested in blah, blah, blah? If so, book here. And then wait for three days and it will send that SMS again. Wait for three days and it will send that SMS again. This is how you can literally put somebody in any duration or frequency of repeating communication. We use this, for example, for our membership academy. If you've got a membership academy and you want to be reminding your members every 30 days that they have live calls upcoming that month or there's new content released in their portal, this is how you might replace that with an email and say, wait for 30 days. And that email will say, hi, contact first name. You know, thanks for being in the XYZ Academy. Just letting you know we're in a new month. Go to your calendars lesson in your portal. Here's how you log in and make sure you check out all of the upcoming calls and workshops or new stuff that we have for you in your portal. Wait for 30 days and that just keeps repeating. That is a really simple way for you to put any standard generic communication on repeat, whether it's sales and cold outreach, whether it's to internal customers or members for anything, whether it's just reminding particular people about products or services that you have. This is how you can select a repeating frequency of contact and communication. Now, what happens after this? Well, what happens after this is, what happens if somebody buys the thing 
and you now want to remove them from this you know repeating sequence well all you would do is you would obviously make sure that when they purchase that particular thing they get some kind of tag for instance I always make sure that I have a workflow for everything that people can buy from me and that workflow includes them getting tagged with has purchased the XYZ product and this is the reason why to get them out of a repeating reminder sequence you're going to create another workflow and let's pretend that when somebody buys my I don't know let's let's say somebody I've got a, I've got a course for sale um, a, a marketing membership for instance um, let's say that the trigger is that they get tagged with the tag that is for instance ooh, tag added select a tag and we need to add a new tag don't we ooh, where's the new tag ah the tag has to exi exist first of all um, so let's pretend it's the astrology course so when somebody buys my astrology course they're going to get tagged with bought the astrology course so let's pretend we've got an automation like i've just shown you on reminding people that my astrology course is for sale now when they actually get tagged with bought the astrology course for instance okay then we're simply going to press remove Oop, remove remove from workflow and then we say to the system which workflow so it'll be another workflow and then we're going to say to the system which workflow was it and that was the one that we just created but you'd go through and obviously hopefully you've labeled them all properly you're going to go and remove them from that reminder sequence workflow press save and boom this is now if you turn it on this will remove them from whatever reminder sequence you've got them in if they have taken the action that you wanted them to take from that reminder sequence. Hope that helps. If you've got any more questions, drop them in the Techmatics Facebook group or drop a question down here in your support inbox. So if you click on your little purple question mark, click on this chat bubble here. We have 24 hour support available in this section. If you've got any questions at all about how to use any particular features, hope that helps. Happy tech in.